Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Elseworlds crossover. Today we're going to be breaking down some new photos from the set, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos as we head towards the crossover. So like yesterday, we've got some more photos today, and these are probably some of my favourite ones that we've got so far. So a lot of the photos are coming from Canada Graphs and also YVR shoots. So I'm going to leave the links in the description below to both of them, both of their Twitters, but also Canada Graphs do a blog where you can see all the rest of the photos. They've got lots more. So please be sure to go in the description below and check that out because these guys are amazing for taking these photos so us out in the public online know what's happening roughly because obviously this is just set photos there's not much context but we can theorize so these photos are amazing and you get to see Melissa on set for the first like proper time that we've seen her shooting in public for the Elseworlds crossover it's always been Grant and Steven and also Tyler for now from the photos we've seen from the set obviously we know they are doing a lot of the stuff on more private sets and inside their lot and various things like that but in public this is Melissa's first time being spotted and we get to see a whole range of heroes here you get to see Tyler as Superman in his normal Superman costume so that can make you think that there is definitely Definitely two different versions of Superman in this crossover that Tyler is playing that supposedly confirms that. Also you get some awesome photos from Canada Graphs of Grant Gustin in the Green Arrow suit. I have to say Grant looks amazing in this. It suits him so well and I'm so excited to see specifically him and then also we've got some photos from Hollywood North Buzz aka YVR shoots of Stephen Amell in the flash suit and Stephen looks amazing and I'm so excited to see this switch. This is most likely their characters from Another Earth obviously and it seems like in this team up photo where we see Melissa as Supergirl, Tyler as Superman and supposedly that is Stephen as the Flash teaming up we can see them ripping apart this guy and this guy as you can see from his suit is pretty ripped and he's got massive arms and he is resisting Superman and Supergirl so that has got to tell you something about the main villain of the crossover we don't specifically know who it's going to be but supposedly this villain is going to be massive because yes we've been teased with the idea of Dr. Destiny but Dr. Destiny isn't a CGI like villain apart from his face so I don't see why he would have a full CGI like sort of mocap capture body with the stunt actor or the real actor inside of it so I don't think that's him I think he may be the mastermind throughout this crossover but this is a big villain this may have something to do with the monitor coming the monitor Monitor is not a villain in the comics so most likely it's not him and also most likely it's not Lonel because Lonel was a character that was teased in a casting description a while ago for the crossover and Kryptonians are pretty much human so I don't see why that would be him so the only route to lead down is that this is a totally different villain that we don't know but this villain is big enough to need a mocap suit so they can CGI in you know a lot of it afterwards because it's definitely not a proper suit that we're seeing right here but you can tell he is going to be super strong whoever the person is that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching so hopefully you're really excited for the crossover i'm so excited with getting all these new photos from these various sources online and you know we get a little teaser of what's going to be happening even though we don't have the full context we get glimpses as to what's going to be happening as they shoot in Vancouver week by week as we head towards this crossover and also a point to be pointed out is the villain that they're actually trying to take down is played by Danny Cudmore who is an actor and stuntman from the X-Men films so this villain right now like I mentioned is unknown but you know this is a stuntman who is an actor as well so I'm guessing this is going to be a pretty big role in that there's going to be probably a lot of stunts involved considering they've cast him so thank you guys so much watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shot free teeth.